Now everyone knows my passcode. All right? Open something up. Google Maps. See how good the touch screen works. Type something in. Home. Work. There you go. We just got in our full production samples. We are looking at the first to second week of December to have all of these in stock and completely right, done. We're gonna show you one of the most amazing features with our uh, safe box for your cell phone. Look at how quick it goes in and out. Put it back in. Look at this, in and out. In and take it out. That's it. So I wanna show you very quickly how to put your phone in. It's quite self-explanatory, but this is exactly how you'll get your safe box. You'll open it up, you have a thin piece of foam, two thick pieces of foam inside, the piece of foam that covers the uh, clear screen on the back. You can cut a part out of this if you want your camera to be able to view through the glass in the back. I'm not gonna do that now, but that's an option for you. Then you have your Allen wrench that's used to remove your quick mount and your tube of glue, which we're gonna use right now to make the uh, trim around the phone to securely hold the phone in place. So first step, you have the thin piece of foam, which I can tell with my phone here is too thin. So I'm not going to cut that one out. Then I'm measuring up a thick piece of foam and I can see that that's perfect. If you have a very thick phone, maybe you need two pieces of foam that you're gonna to have to cut out. Uh, if you have a very thin foam, phone, maybe a phone with no case at all, you'll use the thin piece. In my case, this thick piece of foam is the same size as my phone. So I am going to lay my phone on top of it, mark out how thick it is. So I'm going to trim this out. Right here is the mount, which you use a Allen head drive, loosen up one side, and then this comes right off. This is the piece that you mount. You can use the threaded, the three quarter PVC pipe thread that we have on here to mount if you want, or screw it in like on the brute force where I have it screwed right into the air box. And that fastens right onto the back of this very quick, just like that. Uh, the USB port that we have here, so you can charge. This is a micro USB here. And then on the inside, it's your standard USB in there to here. All right, make sure that your phone actually fits inside there. Then take your tube of glue, pierce the top of it. I flip the cap over and pierce the top of the glue. All right, put some of glue on the foam here. Stick the foam that you just cut out onto the other. Once that's dried, you can put that back inside your safe box. And you see your phone now fits nicely inside of there so that when you hold it like this, it doesn't move and it's the right height. It's not, you don't want your phone pushing too hard against this. You don't want it busting out. You can see if you look on the side here, how my the screen is not being pushed out and it's also not far away. I'm not pushing the screen in all the way to the phone. It's very close to the surface. That's the goal that you want to get there. And that's it. It's done. It's that simple.